Thank you, Chairman. Uh, thank you for Sejong Hospital uh, giving us a uh, wonderful experience uh, to share our knowledge here. And also, uh, our center, uh, most uh, attending physician uh, uh, worked uh, in the Sejong Hospital, so we, we feel this relative <laughs> our center in Sejong Hospital. Uh, so as you uh, know, uh, the limitation of bone the valve is uh, this valve is fit for the patient with conduit or bicep valve. So as the Professor Jeong Cho is slide, but most of the post of tier patient uh, has a native valve to track valves. So as you know, uh, now until now the three uh, cell extension valves are on the clinical trial in the world. Uh, you already uh, no, uh, listened the. Uh, in the speed valve from Wolakan. And how many valve is the first uh, applied valve in human, human body? So comparing with these two, two valve, our first valve has a knitted wire backbone. And so from now on, I'd like to a uh, little bit of history of this valve and the feasible study and the recent update of this first valve. So this valve uh, uh, developed uh, since 2004. And initially, we tried to uh, do the valve treatment to reduce the immunogenicity. So uh, these five features are the typical uh, uh, the procedure for tissue engineering, especially decellularization and alpha carotid treatment to reduce immunogenicity and also reduce the, uh, the later calcification. So you can see the details in these uh, articles. And during our uh, experiment, Tail Medical Company joined in our team and uh, from their technique to make a knitted wire backbone and uh, we designed this shape and we covered the, uh, initially whole, whole area but re uh, the final form is like this. So we covered the, uh, uh, the total length is 38 millimeter for the, this clinical trial and they covered the treated postine calicardium uh, about 25 millimeter. And the distal part is uh, we do, did not cover. And also we uh, stitched the treated postine pericardium uh, with, uh, in the covered pericard distant uh, as a tricuspid reflex. And we started animal studies since 2011 using this strip. After three months, uh, follow, we could uh, find the uh, full endocellularization over the stent like this. And after six months follow, uh, we, uh, we saw the echocardiography. So you can see uh, well preserved the valve function. And um, from the autopsy, you can see the uh, still preserved valve morphology like this. So this animal study uh, was published in 2014. So you can see the details in this article. Uh, this is the transcapsular delivery system. The total length is uh, 110 centimeter. And this head portion, we made hook block. We modified several times this area. And, and this hook block is good for uh, 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 prevent the valve jumping uh, during deployment. And also, uh, we, if we want to recapture, uh, this is the anchoring point uh, to recapture for this valve into the delivery cable. And this is handle portion. So by rolling the knob, you can deploy half of the valve, and by pulling the lever, you can deploy fully the valve. And this is uh, at the portion. When we implanted the uh, 28 millimeter valve, the delivery uh, outer diameter is 18 French, so it's less than 60 millimeter. Now this is valve loading process. So uh, if, if fully opened, you can see the wider, in, wider room, internal room like this. And by using this crimper, uh, we can uh, make uh, valve uh, loading easily. And so usually, uh, if you try, try several times, you can do this. So, uh, uh, Professor Jeong Choi uh, did uh, this first by himself, last procedure. And usually, it takes uh, three minutes to employ, employ, implant this area. And before the uh, trial, we made the uh, uh, digital valve model. So we uh, input uh, nine, 22 millimeter valve in 19 millimeter post out valve with this ovoid shape uh, uh, for the, the di uh, for, for considering the various uh, alveolar regions. 
and uh, uh, to meet the Korean FDA uh, uh, criteria for the clinical trial, we had to do a standard particle test up to uh, 400 million times, and also a particle test 200 million times. So this is 400 million times is the 10-year heartbeat for adult. So it, we, uh, we expect the, this valve uh, difficult to friend, uh, send fracture for 10 years. And we uh, got the uh, clinical trial approval by Korean FDA three years ago. And the uh, indication extended more than, nine, ten, more than 10 years. And by the way, 30 kilogram two years ago. And we designed to do peer based study uh, for these native Albert regions for 10 patients. And, and the after peer, peer based study, after six months follow, we did cardiac MRI and cardiac case again to see the effectiveness of this valve. This is the timetable. And this is the, uh, our first valve profile. Uh, so the out, out, diameter, out diameter is ranged from 18 to 28 millimeter by two millimeter increase. And initially we made the total length, uh, the diameter and height, diameter height is 1.1 to 1.3 ratio. But, uh, but as a clinical trial, we made the total length 38 millimeter uh, uniformly. And we made the out uh, this, uh, both sides flaring, so four millimeter larger than our diameter for the stable positioning. So we think uh, this first valve uh, actually fit for the main PA loading zone. So as you can, as you see previous lecture and this lecture, this uh, self-extend valve is main target area is main PA. So first patient was done uh, uh, 2000, 16 uh, February, the patient was 20 year old and on, or, already underwent two times operation. So six years ago, she underwent uh, a valvuloplasty for severe PR. And before this procedure, patient showed the uh, uh, low excess tolerance like this. And cardiac MRI showed the uh, indexed RV volume was 182. And this, uh, when we uh, uh, loaded, loaded the valve into the delivery cable, the total length is about 50 millimeter, so not so long. So you can easily introduce this valve into the target area. And uh, after partial deployment, we can make positioning about for, uh, forward or backward. And by pulling the lever, we can deploy fully the, this valve like this. And after deployment, you can see the well moving uh, the heart valve from the TE, and the MP angiography showed uh, no signal to PR like this. After six months follow, patient showed the increased excite tolerance, and also the cardiac shadow decreased dramatically. And six months follow, echo showed uh, no uh, PSPR, and also no PR from the uh, and pain geography, and this RV volume decreased to, to 127. This case uh, was published last year in the CCI. And the second patient, uh, we found uh, uh, the dramatically decreased cardiac size even 10 days after valve, valve implantation. So there was acute improvement like this. And patient also showed uh, uh, improved excess tolerance, six months follow-up like this. And so the patient uh, had uh, IVC interruption, so we uh, uh, choose, uh, chose the uh, main vessel, right internal jugular vein, and we can easily introduce this valve into the main RBOT area and positioning, and we can, the, uh, even in this internal jugular vein approach, uh, half of the valve deployed, but we can move uh, this valve to make a good positioning. And the ACE patient, uh, when we do the, the balloon, and, balloon, dilatation, balloon angiography, the left coronary valve is very close to the target area. So 
This actually 34 millimeter sizing balloon too big, but anyway, from this valve, just 1.2 millimeter uh, apart from the valve area, but we try to do uh, implant valve. So after deployment valve, the coronal angiography showed uh, no any problem, any problem there. And the trans patient, 15-year-old male, uh, showed left heart artery tendency like this. The lung perfusion scan uh, was 23% uh, in left side, but even this uh, LPA tendency, we can uh, easily uh, go there. And after deployment, uh, this valve is not so long, so just the main target, a main PA is. Uh, uh, good area to implant this valve, so no interb in the LPA area. So uh, just in eight months, we finished the 10 patient enrollment. So uh, the youngest age was 13 years old, mostly very big RV volume. And for 10 patients, we implanted the 28 millimeter for five patient and 26 millimeter for five patient. And the before procedure, the eight patient uh, underwent transannular patch angioplasty when the first time operate tube repair, and three patients to show the LPA stenosis, and eight patients to show the alveolar aneurysm. The six month follow up uh, cardiac MRI showed uh, decreased RV volume in uh, older patient, and in average, uh, there was up 20. 9% decrease from the RV volume in six months follow up like this. And when we did the cardiac catheterization, uh, most patients also decreased the RV to PA peak pressure gradient like this. And adverse event uh, we experienced 50 times per 10 subject in total six months follow up, but mostly minor symptoms. And uh, there was only one serious adverse event was due to also in 15-year-old boy, but uh, not the device related. And helicopter pyrrole uh, induced uh, also. And this uh, feasible study of first valve uh, published in this month in cisclerical uh, cardiac intervention. You can see the detail in this article. So the first patient, uh, uh, two-year follow-up like this, the steel valve is motion very well. And until now, four patients finished two-year follow-up, and the uh, older four patients still could valve function, and no significant PR in the echo. And uh, we are trying, we are undergoing the multi center study in Korea, so uh, it's a sponsored initial trial in five major uh, uh, congenital heart center in Korea. Until now, we finished uh, nine patient uh, implantation, and, tw and uh, this is the profile of the nine patient. Uh, so in this uh, trial, uh, the PAIVS uh, and PAVS also uh, enrolled in this, in this nine patient. And most, mostly 28 millimeter valve was implanted successfully. Our next plan is that uh, we already uh, submitted the current FDA uh, market approval several, years, several months ago. So we are undergoing the inspection, and we hope to get the FDA market approval in this autumn. And also we made a 32 millimeter valve. So after this approval, we want to expand the valve size up to 32 millimeter. Not, uh, okay. And also we are preparing for clinical trial in Europe for C approval. So we are contacting uh, doctors in Europe, Europe area. So we think uh, the merit of this first valve is uh, we already did multiple steps for positive treatment. So we anticipate hope for longer durability. And this valve is not so bulky and not long. So uh, there is easy, easy visibility for uh, many interventional cardiologists. And we, this valve can be implanted uh, even in French phase tenosis or triangular shape main PA. Um, we are using a low profile cassette delivery system, so 18 French for 28 millimeter and 20 French for 32 millimeter, so still low profile compared with other valve. And because we made the knitted wire backbone structure, 
uh, also uh, the bench test, there is a low risk of stand fracture. So, uh, and, and, and we hope, uh, we think this variable is, can be applied in the process variable after free stenting in surgical process variable. And uh, we think this is the ideal shape to do redo PVR in the uh, next uh, PVR timing. But, and this is our cardiac team. <laughs> so most doctors uh, had, had a chance to work in Sejong Hospital. And Professor Yong Jin Kim is, uh, initiated this VELP project and now he's working in Sejong Hospital. And, and Hong Kong Lim is uh, work the, uh, always stayed in the animal lab to do the, the procedure for me, with me. And uh, also thank you for telling me the company uh, for assisting uh, uh, support this project. Uh, thank you for kind of attention. <laughs>